not in Scotland. What the heck is Okay, so I've kind of become a bit fed up with doing the webcam thing because I've done it twice already, uh, gone through my whole monologue, and it didn't work. Um, the first video was totally completely out of sync, which is really annoying. And the second one didn't record any sound whatsoever, so I'm hoping three times a charm and this will do something. I'm getting really tired of looking at myself. This light is not flattering. Not at all. Yes, my hair is hella short now. I look a little bit like a Korean pop star and star in some music videos. But I don't really like doing this with my hair over and over. I feel like a 13 year old boy, but I kind of feel that way most of the time anyway. So I guess it's rather suiting. God, these walls are like piss yellow in the camera. It's disgusting. They're, they're actually really, really white, like me. My living arrangement is actually a lot different than I had read, which was a little bit disconcerting, but I actually prefer the situation to living kind of like the Cal State Fullerton dorm. Teeny tiny bedroom box living arrangement, and people just leave their doors open and socialize like a real college. <laughs> Who knew? It is kind of weird having hall bathrooms and hall showers. So I'm adjusting to that still, but um, hall kitchen's kind of cool. You get to see what everybody else is doing when I'm sleeping. Remains from whatever went on last night. There's more. Very renowned Scottish Scottish soft drink called Iron Brew and uh, tastes a little bit like um, orange orange soda mixed with cream soda, but that's only to the untrained American tongue. To to the Scots, it tastes like Iron Brew. You would never just openly see all of that in a Cal State Fullerton dorm. And the view is pretty cool. This is actually a very cool place to just come and eat breakfast. So you can uh, see the Wallace Monument out there. Way, way out there. It's, it's pretty cool. This is a nice glimpse of some Scottish weather. When we got on the plane, um, to Edinburgh Airport. They apologize for their weather being such rubbish, but it's kind of nice because I only get to see rain maybe four times a year in San Diego. So I'm enjoying this. Uh, it's been a few days now that I've been here, so let me back up. I got some awesome footage that I've recorded. Footage, like it's a documentary, on my sexy little flip camera. I had originally bought a piece of crap from Kodak. Don't buy anything from Kodak that isn't disposable because that's the maximum capacity of their product is disposable. It didn't make sense. I wanted other words to happen, but they didn't. So let's start with packing on Thursday, which is really exciting because around four, the power completely went out. Uh, packing by candlelight is hardcore. We don't know what people did before electronics and like restaurants that weren't coal powered. I really want a taco. Do read, embroider, knit, corn husk dolls. That was the prairie. I don't have any friggin' corn. Okay. There's a chance that my flight might not leave tomorrow because the airport. It's like. Gone all the way up to Orange County, and all the way to, and Yuma, then Arizona. all the way down to, to or all the way over Mexico. to Yuma and down to Mexico. So, I, I literally live in a black hole right now. It's kind of like living in Twin Peaks or something, where it just it'll it'll rip off and split into another dimension that only owls can access. I think like, owls have amazing I, service. I here. think they do. Too. The power outage was actually kind of scary for me, so there was a chance that I might not be able to leave on time the next day, which was frightening for someone 
who is naturally a nervous wreck. Fortunately, the next morning happened. It is 5.20 a.m. on September 9th, Friday, San Diego, California. I really want to go back to bed, but I'm going to Scotland. Uh, the flight was only well, was scheduled to only be half an hour later than the original departure time, but it ended up leaving two hours later, which made me all the more nervous, especially after already being stressed out from finding out that all that glorious crap that Amanda was able to shove into my suitcase ended up weighing 15 pounds over the limit. So this is all my crap. Oh. What's that guy that says like the seven words you can't say on the TV? George Carlin. George Carlin, like a bit about like, so we have shit and we have a whole house to fill with shit and then we go somewhere and we figure out what shit we really need to take there. And then when we're there, they're like, hey, let's go on a day trip to somewhere else. They're like, now you have to separate that shit to see like what you need of that shit to take to the day trip. And then you got day trip shit. And then you got to think, what do you need when you actually leave the house? It's like, you got all this shit everywhere. So we got to pay a bunch of money for that, which was really cool, but um, my flight to, my first flight was to Newark, New Jersey. I told people that I had a layover in Newark, they misheard me as New York, I did not correct them. Newark airport is huge, especially compared to the Edinburgh airport, which was a little baby airport. Adorable. The flight to Edinburgh. Hella long. It's, it's been a while since I've flown out of the country. It's been math. Seven. Eight. It's been eight years since I've flown out of the country. Um, so I forgot how much hard work it is to sit uncomfortably for hours and hours. Advantage though, I did get to watch X-Men First Class and that movie is awesome! If you haven't seen it yet, go see it. I totally recommend it. Um, Kenny Xavier and Magneto just get married already. But, so I was kind of happy I got to watch that. That movie put me in a good mood for the rest of the flight. And I got to enjoy flying over the ocean and looking at the water. I've forgotten how much I thoroughly enjoy flying over cities and watching those beautiful little tiny lights miles and miles below me it's just gorgeous it's one of my favorite things to view I think um, third only to hot air balloons at sunset oh, beautiful and tacos just gonna eat that I see taco and my, my stomach just warms up with something so much more fulfilling than love it's kind of sad and, uh, we got into Edinburgh around 6.30ish. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of our cockpit crew and chassis based flight tennis, we'd like to welcome you to Edinburgh, Scotland. On the shuttle to campus from Edinburgh to Stirling, uh, it was my first look at the country up close. And I've observed that Scotland is full of wet. Green. Lots of lots of cows. And sheep. Getting here was really exciting. By here, I mean the building um, because. I was met with the brilliant discovery that there's no elevator in this building, so I got to lug a giant suitcase, a carry-on, my laptop, and a purse up four flights of stairs. I've discovered that I'm pretty buff, so that was fun. I had to walk up those stairs and walk down those stairs every day multiple times, and I'm expecting some awesome thighs by the time this semester is over. 
I met some pretty cool people here too. Uh, my next door neighbor Robin's awesome. Yes. Oh, say hello. Hello. And her and a couple other neighbors on the hall and upstairs have been going out to town and doing groceries and stuff and getting stuff that we weren't able to pack or don't have. So I got to see some of the town uh, the day that I moved in. It's really cool. There's a UK equivalent of the dollar store that we went into. Pretty much the same kind of items. Oh my god, freaky little gnomes. <laughs> gnomes next to Buddha. Not a single Asian person in sight. That was surreal. When the shuttle was driving me to campus, the driver turned on the radio. And for one, I've discovered that a lot of their popular music is our popular music, which probably isn't that surprising, but I wasn't expecting it. So I was a little disappointed to hear all this rubbish on the radio. But one magical moment did occur being driven through scotland surrounded by all this beauteous greenness and just everything that i've been waiting to see all year and genesis comes on the radio <laughs> Heaven was real. Such a sucker for Phil Collins. So, my face is blue and I'm a little bit tired of staring at it. So, this is gonna be the end of my first video. And classes don't start for me till Thursday. This whole week, Freshers' Week as they call it, for the freshmen is less about classes and more about partying. School mandated, organized, endorsed, promoted partying. And all of these party events have occurred in the union at our union pub and our union club. Alcohol is basically water here. I woke up this morning and went over to the atrium and came across some Scots at 11 in the morning who were already drunk on vodka. So, I have a lot to learn. Okay, well, I'll try to keep y'all updated with classes and everything else. And until then, Signing up. I'm not wearing any pants.